What's up, beautiful people? The message I bring to you today is connect and collaborate with reflections of yourself so that you rise together. So, tonight what I want to talk about is connecting with your soul family, reflections of yourself. See, your soul family is people that you can see yourself as, that remind you to be your highest self. Do you feel what I'm saying? You know, people that rise you up rather than pull you down. So, it's all about connecting with them and then growing and collaborating, thriving together. Do you see what I'm saying? Because when we come together, and we collaborate on different projects, on different things, when we share our passions and our gifts with each other and find ways to interconnect and intertwine those gifts together, we rise exponentially. So that's really what it's all about right now. It's about finding those people that remind you of yourself, that remind you to continue walking your highest path, and then finding ways to connect and collaborate so that it boosts oh, your, your gifts to the world and also theirs. You feel what I'm saying? So let's just get into the process of exactly how you do find your soul family, how you do find these reflections of yourself. First, you have to be yourself fully because you will only attract that which you are. You see what I'm saying? So along my early journey, when I was in high school, I had a lot of friends and you know, they were great friends at the time, but I did have to break free and find my own soul family, if you feel what I'm saying. I had to let go of anyone that wasn't serving my highest path and find the people that I resonated with, find the people that encouraged me to continue following my dreams, to continue following my passions and spreading my truth to the world. So that's really what it's all about. So just slow down a sec, take a breath, if you feel what I'm saying. Alright, so it's about being yourself. It's about being the most authentic you in this present moment. You feel what I'm saying? Embodying your highest potential. And as soon as you continue to do that, and you continuously do that, and you share that part of yourself with the world every single day, and I mean like all of yourself, not just what you're projecting externally. You feel what I'm saying? Like oftentimes we project this persona of ourselves as like, oh yeah, this is who I am externally. Like for instance, on social media, one might be like build themselves up to be something that which they're not fully all of that, you know, like on the, in the darkness, what social media doesn't see, there's someone else. So it's all about taking that darkness and putting that in the light as well, you know, being completely honest with yourself. That way you can present a mirror for others to see themselves within. You feel what I'm saying? Because we are balanced beings. There's light and dark. You can't just portray the light because then you're missing the darkness. And you can't just portray the dark because then you're missing the light. And you have to recognize that in order to even find your light to begin with, you actually have to go within the darkness in order to find it. So that's really what it's all about. It's about connecting with reflections of yourself that remind you of who you are and collaborating with them. So your soul family. How are you going to recognize your soul family? All right, this is how I recognize mine. When I see them, they'd be like, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? They'd be laughing. We'd be having fun. And that's really what it's all about. It's not about being that serious. Like, sure, there's times to be serious, but honestly, like, when you're with your soul family, you're going to be having a great time because they're going to be looking at you and you're going to be able to see yourself. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm looking at this camera right now, just talking, vibing, and that's what's up. We're just right here hanging out with my microphone. You see, this is kind of like the, the, my room, my room studio that I got going. Just so you guys know, like, just as I'm releasing a new video every single day, I'm starting to work on an album, you know, and if you haven't checked out my music already, if you're new to the YouTube channel, new to my journey, please check out my music at SoundCloud under my mindful expansion the same as the YouTube check it out see if you vibe you know it's all about that conscious uplifting rap music to get your spark your spirit you know spark those passions within you and get you going but then it's also that esoteric knowledge to really infuse it with those vibes so you can learn and thrive and be empowered along the way so yeah this is the home studio if you feel what I'm saying got that beautiful tree tapestry the tree of life to remind me of what I am if you feel that so that's really what it's all about. We're going to have a new song coming out every month, and I also started to work on my first album, so that's uh, in the works as well. So, again, connecting with your soul family. It's really all about connecting with reflections of yourself, with people who remind you to be your greatest version. So, go find your soul family, 
you know, connect with them, collaborate, be yourself, shine your light, but also share your darkness and embody your fullest potential, your most authentic self in every given moment because that is exactly what you will what you will attract. And so my message to all those right now who are hanging out with their soul family or who know their soul family, you know, hit them up right now, just tell them that you love them, let them know what's up. And you know, and my message to all those who haven't found their soul family just yet, you know, be your most authentic self and they will come. And so that's really what it's all about. Thank you so much again for tuning into my journey. You know, I got those hand gestures because, you know, we just flown and that's how it goes. But yeah, thank you very much for tuning into my journey. I truly appreciate it. We breathe in deep into the core of our being as always. Not in nature today, but actually we are because I am nature and I'm going within myself to bring out this information. So that's also part of the meaning of come back to nature and free yourself. See, it's not just all about me. But in that saying, what I'm saying is not only go outside and free yourself, I'm also saying come back inside yourself and free yourself. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what's up. Come back to nature and free yourself. You know, we got that balance, yin-yang. That's what it's all about. Much love. Thank you very much. And if this video helped you, please subscribe, hit that like button, share it around. That's what it's all about. You know, we're on this journey. I said I'd be living in the tropics. We will be living in the tropics. You know, we're traveling, making music, becoming an entrepreneur, business life, dropped out of college. You know how it is. Love you guys and girls. Thank you.